coming up on Fort Wayne's NBC Weekend News. Tomorrow is Memorial Day and folks across the fort are preparing to honor veterans. Our Louis Tran brings you the story from a service member. And tornadoes tear through Oklahoma this weekend, leaving two dead and more than two dozen injured. We'll have the latest from El Reno. Looks like we're going to be seeing some more storm chances tomorrow. I'll have details coming up. Live from Television Park, this is Fort Wayne's NBC News Weekend. That hum, unforgettable. And this win, even more so. Frenchman Simon Pagano secured his first Indianapolis 500 win this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Caitlin Kendall. Welcome to Fort Wayne's NBC Weekend News. We are focused on the finish line and have been all week. You might have missed it, but the milkman who handed the winning driver his cold glass of milk, it's Andrew Keener of Keener Dairy Farms, based right here in the fort. There he is right there with his uh, cow hat right there, raising his fist there. He was very excited. Sports anchor Megan Sally will have your highlights from the race. Be sure to check out all of our Indianapolis 500 coverage on our website at fortwaynesnbc.com. I, I, got, I got it very as high as that tree over there. Wow, that's really high. I isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? The rain holding off back here at home, too. Just long enough for a great neighborhood event at Lutheran Park. The historic South Wayne Neighborhood Association bringing back an old tradition, Kite Day. Folks could pick up a free kite at the park or bring their own. After being rained out last year and last weekend, this community was determined to make it happen today. And while parents say today's fun brought their community closer together, that doesn't mean there wasn't a bit of friendly competition to see who could fly their kite the highest. Those kind of things get people out their doors when they...